Hi guys, it's Otto here and today we're going to compare the IKEA version of the uh, electric roller blinds with a SOMFI solution um, and we're going to look at the uh, component level so we're going to take apart this uh, this blind to see what's inside and compare it to SOMFI and see what the differences are and what the benefits of each system are so um, yeah let's get started first of all as you can see it's um, there's a housing actually on top of the uh, the blind itself so um, normally what you would have with SOMFI is you have an integrated battery so the battery is actually inside the motor um, with the IKEA solution it's actually built into this uh, this housing um, so the battery actually goes here which is a, a small difference um, and then again when you look at the housing you see that uh, there's a sort of rail system on top which means you can place the brackets anywhere just push it in and it locks in place and you can still move it or when, when this is fixed in place of course you move the housing um, which is a very convenient system because with most regular roller blinds um, you have fixed endpoints um, they are made to measure so it would fit your your blind of course but they are at the endpoint so you can fix them to the wall to the ceiling but there's no way of moving them around in a different position on the roller blinds and that's an advantage of this system um, the disadvantage is that it needs uh, slightly more space in terms of the height because you not only have this this tube which is by the way 40 millimeters in diameter so it's pretty similar to what a, a motorized version with a SOMFI motor would be because that ranges from 38 um, to 44 approximately with some exceptions because there's a new motor coming which is a 24 millimeters in diameter so that will allow for uh, for smaller blinds also to be uh, motorized but in this case and the most regular solutions um, this is slightly higher than what we uh, what we normally have when you have just a tube um, but let's uh, let's have a look at the inside um, and to get to the inside of, uh, of the blind it's pretty straightforward all you need to do is, is loosen these two screws so I'm going to do that now So now that these two screws are out, all I need to do is pull slightly to release this part. You don't want to pull too far because the motor is still attached to this side bracket. I'm going to do this gently now so you can see the three major parts. So we have the, the head rail and the side bracket. We have the tube with the fabric here and as you can see it's a very nice aluminium tube. Like I said, 40 millimeters in diameter, um, and that's perfect for this motor. Um, what you do see is we can pull the motor out gently. You need to put a bit of pressure on this, and then you pull it out. You need to pull it not too far because the motor is still connected here because that's a that's basically the the connection to the battery and the control mechanism that's in here. Um, so when you look at the motor, you can see that it's actually 0 0.4 Newton meters of torque. So it's another very powerful motor, which, uh, which suits the blinds perfectly because they're uh, in fixed width and a set height. So that's several widths, but then they don't go too large. So uh, this is uh, more than sufficient. Um, but you do, yeah, because of course when the uh, the tube is 40 millimeters in diameter, that of course affects the total uh, amount of weight that the uh, the blind can pull up. Um, it's 25 RPM, so it's pretty similar to the Sonfi motors, which range from 20 to 30 RPM uh, regularly. So that's uh, that's a similar speed. Um, like I said, in the Sonfi motors, the battery is inside. Uh, with these motors, the battery is uh, is, uh, is externally, but the uh, capacity is actually the same. Um, it's 2600 milliamp, which means that you have the exact same capacity on the outside, whichever you're inside of the motor. Um, and that's enough to make your blind run up and down once per day uh, for six months without recharging it. So you can, it, it will last quite a while before you actually need to recharge it. Now when it comes to, uh, to recharging, you need to take the battery out and connect it to the, uh, to the charger that's uh, supplied with the motor, so with the, with the IKEA blind. Uh, for some feet it's, uh, it's pretty similar, you have a connector here that you connect an external uh, charger to and then uh, you can charge it. Um, with IKEA that's included, so that makes it a very attractive deal, especially when you, uh, you also consider that the remote is included. 
The remote is fairly basic though, um, so you have up and down, and that's it basically. It is magnetic, so that's a nice little feature. But it doesn't have the my position like Somfy does, so there's no intermediate position that you can set. Um, and all you have is, is, is this type of remote, so you don't have wall different wall switches, handheld remotes, um, timers, etc. Um, which Somfy does offer. Um, but that, the, the remote is not always included with, uh, with the blind, so that, uh, that's something to keep in mind. So it's a, a separate purchase often, uh, even though the Situ RTS is, uh, is included in some packages. Um, when it comes to control, if you want to use app control, for some of you have the Tahoma and the Connexoon RTS that you can use for app control. Uh, for IKEA, they have a basic system as well, but you need to, uh, to have a base unit as well to, uh, to actually use that. So um, you can't use it with uh, just the app only. You need to have a base unit as well, which you can buy separately. Um, and that's it basically when you compare the... Uh, the, the features and the, uh, the, the, the parts of the IKEA and the, the Somfy system. Now, if you have any questions, let me know. We will do follow-up videos uh, where we go into detail about the control mechanisms, um, how it works, how easy it is to use, um, and which system has, a, has my preference uh, uh, when it comes to controls and, and that sort of thing. Um, if you want more information, have any questions, uh, or want to see a specific topic in a future video, do let me know. Uh, you can leave a comment to the video, or you can uh, send me an email. All the contact details are in the description below the video, so let me know uh, if there's something you want me to know. And I'll gladly see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.